I'm gonna get the phone in the main launcher. <laughs> Making the mama bug glider should be pretty easy if you made and flew the baby bug, and I'm assuming you have. Rough cut the patterns close. Tape the ends to the remaining two big foam sheets. Be careful at this end to make sure all the pattern is on the foam. Cut the two long sides exactly on the solid lines, but not the ends with the tape. Bend in the wing reflex by bending the elevons down. Pinch the paper hard to establish the bend, but only pinch right at the crease. Flatten it a little and adjust later. Once again, use a thin pen or pencil and book to roll in the camber, with the edge of the book parallel to the front edge of the glider. Go up to the edge of region 1, tip up more and roll more in region 2, and tip up the most and roll the most and hardest on region 3, right up to the edge. Do the same for the other half of the wing. Again, there is a gauge for right where the flaps start. Cut off the ends with the tape to separate the pattern from foam. Put the two halves together so the elevons are pointing up. I use the thinnest clear tape I can find, half inch or 12 millimeter wide. Colored here so it shows up on camera. I use three short pieces because I can't manage one long piece. Tape the joint lengthwise and leave about half an inch or 12 millimeters untaped at the trailing edge. The wing connection is pretty flimsy. Taping the bottom will make it rigid, so flip it over. There's a trick for taping in the dihedral, which is the slight upsweep of the wings for stability. With the wing bent back like this, stick half of some tape to one side only. Bend back toward making the wing flat again, but not quite all the way flat. Holding that position, tape to the other side, when you flip it over right side up again and hold one side flat, the tip of the other side should be about one and a half inches or 39 millimeters off the table. Check your wing camber again and roll in more if needed. Again, if you start with 45 degrees of Elevon reflex up from the flat sheet it started as, you'll get good stability. Tape the wire on with a small piece of tape so as much as possible sticks out. Adjust between stalling and diving by bending the wire more forward or backward. Add or remove tape if necessary. As with the baby bug, it might be best to reduce the elevon angle for hand and head flying. I find that it's harder to fly by hand if there's any stalling. There's another advanced modification that some very efficient slow flying wings have, such as in solar powered airplanes. This wing is convex or bumped in front, but in back it's concave or dished a little. Such a wing helps get the airflow from the top and bottom of the wing back together as smoothly as possible, so it's efficient. I know the elevons already curve up in back, but I'm talking about something much more subtle. In the middle of the wing, where there are no elevons, with the glider right side up and the front tipped up a little, roll just a little bit of curve into the part of the wing without elevons. It's much less curved than in the front, you might have to readjust the weight in front if it stalls, or you might be able to push the elevons down a little more. So these are some pretty advanced adjustments. They're complex because when you adjust one thing, you throw something else out of adjustment. But if you can work these variables, you're starting to get a pretty good intuitive handle on aerodynamics. Stay in touch. I like feedback, whether it's to celebrate success or point out something that could be better. 
If you upload videos or pictures, I'll link with your permission. It's a very exciting time to be alive, what with all the innovations and branches that people are forming.